So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to play Claw and this tutorial won't be difficult, I promise. I'm going to be going through three different categories in order to make this super easy for you to learn Claw. Step one is knowing what actually is Claw. Step two is going to be what settings and binds are best to play Claw. And the last step, which is step three, is learning how to actually play Claw and the correct way to hold the controller. Now you may be questioning yourself saying, Drops, what do you know about playing Claw? Well, to let you know, I've been using Claw for over five plus years and I've made $30,000 in Fortnite earnings all while playing Claw. So basically I have tons of experience with Claw and trust me, it has so many benefits. But now let's get into this tutorial in order to teach you the easiest and quickest way to learn Claw. So as I said before, step one is actually what is Claw. So basically Claw is a type of controller grip that allows you to press all the controller buttons while keeping your thumb on the right stick and also your middle fingers on the back triggers. By the back triggers, I mean both L2 and R2 being able to hold your middle fingers right here. Now that you know what Claw is, it's also important to know all the benefits while playing Claw. Now Claw is super helpful in a game like Fortnite or even Call of Duty because you're always constantly moving and aiming. So if you play non-Claw and you have to take your thumbs off for a split second, it can drastically affect your gameplay. Now a perfect example and what's equivalent to me taking my thumb off of the joystick is me playing on my master here and having to take my whole hand off and click one keybind. It's not convenient for your gameplay at all. Now you can tell yourself you can go ahead and just bind something to your L3 and R3 so it's so much more helpful but the thing is you have all these other binds to be using. So you're very limited especially on controller on what you can do and claw is one of the most effective ways to control your gameplay. Just a reminder the strain or pain that you feel while playing claw will go away in the first few days or maybe even the first day but if you want to be careful always take breaks and stretch out your hands and fingers correctly but don't worry this isn't a big problem to be dealing with. Now step 2 and one of the most important parts before you actually begin playing Claw is what are the right binds and settings that I should be using. Alright so now going on to my actual controller binds, this is the most important for a lot of Claw players because they actually struggle and I have the perfect binds for you. So going on to my jump, a lot of Claw players, this is the default for every single or almost all the Claw players. I wouldn't say every single but a lot of Claw players do jump with X and basically how they would jump is with their R1 right here, their pointer finger, they would go down from R1 to the face button of X which is just like that. That's all they would do for their jump bind and this is mainly the default for a lot of Claw players. Now that I showed you guys my jump, I'm going to show you one of the most important binds and that is my switch mode. As you can see right here, I feel like switch mode mine is set to triangle and I feel like it's the most effective and easiest just because my pointer finger on R1 is already right here. So all I have to do is barely move. There's minimal movement when going on to my switch mode. So I will say triangle is one of the best switch modes that you could ever have while playing claw. I completely forgot one of the binds, I scrolled past it and that's actually my pickaxe. Pickaxe is one of the most important binds in Fortnite and mine happens to be right d-pad. This one right here and my pointer finger, this is my left pointer finger, it already rests on L1. So basically what I do while playing claw and using this is just going from here to here just like that. Now of course this is all personal preference but I think that if you use my binds you will improve so much because I had a hard time learning claw and after using these binds it helped me out so much because they were so easy and so simple. If you want to change any of these binds or if you use any different binds while playing claw comment them down below because I'm curious to see what other claw players use. Now that I went through all of my build binds I'm going to go into my important ones for my edit binds and this is my confirm and also my reset. For my confirm, I do use R1, which is right here. This is my pointer finger already rests on and super effective because, you know, as a claw player, it's already there. Like, you know, there's nothing else that you have to do, nothing else that you have to move. My confirm is already R1. This right stick reset has to be one of the easiest because as a claw player, all I have to do is click down and reset. And naturally, I'm already having my fingers on both the R2 trigger, which is my select, and the R1 trigger, which is my confirm. So I'm already used to all of these binds because my fingers naturally rest on all of these buttons. Now I didn't showcase all my binds one by one so I'm going to scroll down here and if you guys want to pause this video at any point, you can copy these binds just for yourself. Now that you guys know what is Claw and the best settings to play Claw, now it's finally time to learn Claw. So basically as a Claw player, your middle fingers back here, this is your left one right here and this is your right one. They both need to be resting on these two back triggers here. This is L2 and this is R2 if you're on PlayStation. They basically just rest back here just like that. And now that you got that done, 
both your pointer fingers, your left one and your right one have to be sitting on the L1 bind right here and also the R1. That's all you guys have to do for playing cloth for these back buttons here. You just have to rest them on there. Okay, now that you have your middle fingers on your L2 and R2 and also your pointer fingers on L1 and R1, it's time to finally begin the hardest process of claw. Now don't get scared by that because learning claw isn't hard at all. You just have to build up the muscle memory. So let's say I want to play right hand claw. Basically my pointer finger is on R1 and my switch mode is triangle. So if I want to go to my switch mode, I'd have to go back and forth just like this with my pointer finger. And let's say I jump with X right here. If I jump with X on Fortnite, I'd have to go from R1 to jump button just like this. I'd have to click it back and forth. So this is just basically for right hand claw only. If you want to play just that, you can use your pointer finger just to use these buttons right here. Now since I play double claw and my pickaxe bind is right d-pad just like this, I'd have to be going just back and forth from my L1 button to my right d-pad like that. And this would be left hand claw. Now if you combine both of them, that is what you call double claw. So if I'm going just like this on my all my binds right here that is double claw since i'm using my left pointer finger to click my d-pad and also my right pointer finger to go back and forth from my switch mode and my jump bind now that i've gave you all the steps i'm gonna now end this off by giving you some important tips when playing claw now tip one is being consistent the main problem people have with claw is being inconsistent all it takes is one week of practicing over and over again to build up your muscle memory in my last video, I actually shot off a bunch of ways to improve quickly on controller, and it could help the process of learning claw as well. I showed off practice edit course maps, how to improve your fighting, and also peace control maps. Tip 2 would be make sure you prevent any injuries. I touched up on this a bit earlier in the video, and by this, I mean make sure that you stretch your hands correctly. Now some people mention that claw completely ruins their hands and they get a ton of strain, but that's just not true. As long as you're playing claw correctly, everything will be okay. But if you want to play a safe game, go up on YouTube and search up some stretches just like this. Tip 3 is going to be finding some controller accessories to help you along the way of playing claw. For example, I have these controller grips. These controller grips are from Control Freak and basically what they do is they allow me to have more grip on my joysticks while moving around. Control Freaks aren't pricey and can help you out a lot. I even have a discount code that you can use at Control Freak checkout and that is DROPS. It'll be the first link in the top of the description. Thank you so much for watching this whole video. If you watch it to the end, make sure you comment down below PS5 so I know who the real ones are. If you guys have any questions or concerns, please leave them down below in the comment section. I'm curious to what you guys want to know next. I have a ton of ideas to not only help you in Fortnite, but also if you play on controller. So trust me guys, the bangers are coming soon. If you want me to specifically do a video, comment the idea below and I'll get to you. I promise I read every single comment. But don't forget to drop a like and subscribe with post notifications and I'll see y'all in the next video.